Moving on, Gopher's head of operations has asked employees to get ready for the relaunch even as the airline is still putting together its takeoff plan. The airline will be able to resume operations only after DGCA's approval. The aviation regulator will be conducting an order to check the airline's preparedness. Madhya Mujavar is joining us with more details. Madhya, what is uh, the latest? DGCA was earlier saying that uh, they do not have clarity as yet as to when Gophers can really take off. What are you picking up now? Well, GoFirst's revival largely depends on how soon the airline is able to put together its relaunch plan as well as secure funding to sustain its operations. The airline will need capital to pay its vendors, oil companies and airport operators on a cash and carry basis. So far, we don't have any definite update on whether the airline has received any fresh capital. Then the revival, as you mentioned, is also subject to DGCA approval. The aviation regulator will be conducting an audit of the grounded carrier to check its preparedness uh, before allowing it to fly again. The airline's head of operations, Rajit Ranjan, has asked employees to keep themselves available for flying all the time. He has also asked them to join for a refresher program to ensure that they are fully ready for takeoff. And uh, sources tell CNBC TV18 that many employees, including pilots, are reluctant to join work before they are paid the April salaries. According to the email, employees will be paid their salaries before resumption of operations. The email also mentions that going forward, salaries will be paid in the first week of every month. So as of now, it looks like things are moving in the right direction. All right, Madhya Mujavar, uh, thank you very much for reporting on that story. Uh, go first, revival plans, and uh, the airline is looking to resume uh, office operations at least very soon. How soon it can uh, start flight operations, that remains to be seen. Let's move on now, shifting focus.